I'm Laura. Today I'm going to show you how to make this volcano out of paper. It's a really fun project for anyone who's interested in science and how things work. It would also make a good school project if you need something for that. The volcano is on my Etsy shop at etsy.com slash shop slash fanfaron. You pay a small fee and then you should be able to download it right away and print it off on 10 sheets of paper or cardstock. And then you'll need something to color with, some scissors and some glue as usual. I'm going to start by telling you about the inside and underneath of the volcano. So when you put your volcano together, these two pieces are going to be the bottom or the base of it. And what they're showing is the magma chamber. It's deep underneath the earth and it's made up of melted rock. Can you imagine how hot it must be down there to melt the rock? So this super hot rock is being colored orange. The magma is orange because of it, the heat. This volcano is what is known as a composite volcano or a stratovolcano and we call it that because it's a cone shape made up of layers of lava and ash from previous eruption. So some volcanoes that are composite volcanoes that you might have heard of in the United States are Mount St. Helens and Mount Rainier and there's a whole bunch more all over the world. So I'm coloring the layers inside the volcano black and gray. The orange that you see is the magma coming up through the volcano getting ready for that eruption and it actually has some other side vents here that it can come out too. There are four pieces to the outside of the volcano and I labeled them the volcano slope because together they make up the slope, the sides of the mountain. If you're a skier, you know about that. So I'm coloring right now the lava and lava is what magma becomes as soon as it erupts outside of the volcano. And on this side, I'm making all kinds of those hot colors because in some of the pictures of eruptions, you can see yellow and orange and red. As the lava cools, it starts to get darker so that it becomes like a darker red or reddish brown and eventually more black. So I was putting the hotter colors up at the top and I was gonna do darker red down low. But maybe you don't wanna add all the colors like I was doing on that side. You could just make it all red if you wanted to. Now there's something else on this side and this is lahar, which is the like mud flows, it's like rock and water and all kinds of stuff mixed together that can go down the side of the mountain. It might also be called pyroclastic, I, I hope I'm saying that right, flow. And this is real dangerous stuff because it moves really fast and it can just take out anything that's in its way. So I'm making that brown because I know it's made up more of like the rocks and the earth that are moving down the side. The last thing you want to color is the actual magma and ash cloud just erupting out of the volcano, which is this. So you don't need to color this part because it's going to be inside the volcano. You won't see it. But this, the eruption itself, you do want to color. So I just made some like yellow going every way, every which way, and then I was going to add some red in here. And then I'm going to color the rest of it more gray so you can see it's like the ash cloud that's just billowing out so I'm just gonna just kind of start coloring the gray every which way. Now when you're done coloring this I would suggest that you cut it out so you're gonna cut on all of these lines the dashed black line and then I will color the exact same thing on the back so that you'll be able to see it on both sides of the volcano when you put it together. Cut on all the black dashed line. That is quite easy for this project because the black dashed line just go around the outside of each piece. 
You'll also want to take note when you are cutting of the volcano side that says connects to inside a volcano. It's got this extra little lava flow. That will matter when we start assembling it. So just keep track of that piece. As you can see, I finished cutting all the pieces on the black dashed line, and now I'm going to be folding on the gray dotted line. A couple of pieces don't need any folding, so I'm going to take those out of the picture and set them aside. And that leaves us with this. This little guy just gets folded right here. This one has a tab that goes backwards. And I actually already folded this this way. And then a tab that comes forwards. Like so. And the mountain sides are all going to be folded in the exact same way. The tabs get folded backwards. Let's put this thing together. I'm going to start with the base and I'm going to put glue right here and then line up the bottom and the line and the point and press it together. Oops. Now I will set that aside until I need it later. And I'm going to do these two middle pieces here. This is the tab that's folded forward. And I'm going to take my time lining up the bottom and the middle line. Now remember I told you to keep track of this piece that's got the extra second lava flow on it. I'm going to work on that next and I'm going to attach this to it. Now I'm going to put glue on this whole thing and attach it to the interior. That looks good. Now I'm going to add all of the sides. So just like I did there, I flatten my tab a little bit to make it easier to glue. Glue all over it and then line up my edges carefully. Now I need to bring the base back in and I'm going to start gluing these pieces around it. So the glue has to go on the inside part of the tab. And this last piece here, it's going to go inside the volcano. And then I'm just pressing in there to make sure I'm getting it up against this side. Just like that. So here is my magma chamber and magma coming up and then I'm gonna fold this a little bit so I can see my eruption.
The last thing I have for you today is the labels. If you'd like to label the parts of your volcano, you can go ahead and cut out the labels. There's no dash line, you'll just cut around the edge of them. And I included a couple of blank labels, so if there's something that you want a different name for, or you want to label that I didn't make a label for, you can do that. So labels can be glued or taped on there. So here is my magma chamber. Layers of ash and solid lava. I'm going to try taping that one on there. So if you want to tape, just make a little circle of overlapped tape and press it on the back. Next, I'm going to do my vent. And maybe you want to use one of those blank ones to label the side vents that come out over here. And let's see. Magma, of course, is in here. Coming up through the volcano, trying to reach the surface. Okay. My ash cloud is here. And then, of course, the lava is all of this on the sides of the volcano. And finally, the lahar, or lahar, is right here. Another name for it is that, of course, pyroclastic flow, so you can choose which one you would like to use for there. Hope you have fun making your volcano. Thanks for joining me.